Sean Lewis was the head coach at Kent State and was an up-and-coming name, has a fun, high-flying offense, etc. He is leaving the head coaching position at Kent State, and he is headed to be the offensive coordinator for Coach Prime, Deion Sanders, at Colorado. Now, I did bring up multiple times this year that I thought that it was a genius idea for Sean Lewis to leave the head coaching job at Kent State to go and be the OC at Wisconsin. That's his alma mater. I felt like that would have made a lot more sense uh, for him because, one, you're only making about five hundred grand. Uh, any big-time Power 5 job is going to be able to pay you about a million bucks at least to be a coordinator these days especially when you've got head coaching experience like that. We saw Dan Enos do the exact same thing. He was head coach at Central Michigan. He left that job to go be the OC for uh, Brett Bielema at Arkansas because he was going to be making a significantly more amount of money. Like At the end of the day, that's what this is. And, and also, we have begun to figure out that it is incredibly difficult to get a Power 5 job by being a head coach in the MAC because nothing that you do in the MAC can really translate over to the Power Five. Now, we've seen P.J. Fleck do it at Minnesota, but he hasn't gone 13-0 and at Minnesota the way that he did at Western Michigan. So you're seeing over and over again how difficult it is for guys in that league to be able to make a step up. Like I think the next step up for Sean Lewis would have been either a P5 offensive coordinator position or eh, maybe a job like Memphis, maybe an AAC job or a Mountain West job, something along those lines to where you're moving into another tier before you get to another tier, right? That's, that's the direction that this appears to be going. Uh, we used to only have like two tiers. There was G5 and there was P5. I think there's a lot more tiers now. Like I, I think you've got MAC and CUSA, and then you can take those jobs and move up to AAC and Mountain West or whatever, and then take those to our Sun Belt, et cetera. And then from there, go to Big 12, Pac-12, uh, ACC, up to SEC and Big 12, or SEC and uh, uh, Big 10. Excuse me. That's kind of what it looks like. Uh, the move makes perfect sense to me uh, because I, I think he's going to do really, really well out there. Uh, that offense and in elevation, I mean, it's going to destroy teams that come into Colorado. I'm very curious how this is going to work, uh, but I would I would love to see it. I would love to see it. This looks awesome. Congrats to him and congrats to Colorado. I think you got a really, really good one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.